Today I'm going to learn how to use the math node modulo in geometry nodes and how to create different patterns. So let's see. Let's set the camera, the light, go to geometry nodes. Let's hide this panel and this one. And let's create a new profile. I'm going to delete this cube and add another cube because I want to make it flat. So I'm going to select this view and I'm going to make it really flat, something like that. So we can work with this axis, the z-axis. Remember that this is zero, this line, and these squares is one value. So, so this is one, this is two, and this is three. Okay, so now I want to move this cube up and repeat. So I'm going to use set position. And I want to move it in the z-axis so I'm going to use combine because I want to control only the z-axis. So here, if I add math, I'm going to leave this zero and this zero. You can see if we increase this, we're increasing the z-axis, right? So now I'm going to select one and we are in one. Perfect. If I select two, we are in two, and if I select three, we are in three. So we could move this, right? Up and down. Okay, what if I want to increase this value and I want this to repeat? So make a loop. To do this, we need to use the math node fraction. So fraction, how it works. Fraction, it repeats the process, the value, when reach one. So now I'm in zero, and if I increase this, you can see this works normal, 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 normal. And now, when I'm going to reach one value, this is going to repeat and go here, in zero. Let's check it. Bam. It repeats the process. Thanks to this. If I mute this, then it continues. However, if I add this after the math node add, it loops. So every time this reach one value, like now, number two, it repeats. Okay, you get how this works. So with this, you can create a lot of loops. Now is the interesting part. How I can say, I want this to loop, but not always in the value one. I want to do it, for example, in two or three or two half. So for this, we have, we have this one, modulo. This one and this one. Are really similar, but don't worry, later I'll explain you the difference. So if you say this one or this one, is the same, is the same as fraction. The only difference is here we can say when we want to repeat the process. So if now I select two, I'm saying, hey, when you reach number two, repeat. So let's check it. Now I'm going to reach one and doesn't repeat. Perfect. And when this reach number two, so right now, it repeats because here we are defining the threshold. So if I want to do this every three values, every three steps, I'm going to select three. So now I can continue, and when this reach three, it's going to repeat. As you can see. So now we can animate this, and every time we'll do this loop. Let's add seconds, and you can check it. Perfect. You know how this works and it's the same like this one. So just remember the word modulo. I'm going to select this one and you will see nothing changed and this still works. Okay, so what's the difference between floret and trunket? Honestly, it's really, really, really small. The difference is when we work in negative values. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to leave this zero. And now I'm going to define the threshold in minus three. Okay, so now if I push this, it should go, let's see, it goes up. And when it reaches three, it starts again. Okay, I define it minus three, 
but this only goes up if I increase this. But let's check if I go negative. Okay, this works in negative. So I guess when this reaches minus 3, it's going to start again, right? Yes, perfect. So let's check now with this one. I'm going to leave 0. And let's see if you see a difference. I'm going to increase this in positive. Oh, what happened here? Look at this. If I go positive, it goes down, negative. And if I go negative, it stays here. What I'm trying to tell you, that the difference is that this one, if you add a negative number and you increase this in positive, it's not going to go here. It will go up, as you can see. But if you make it negative, then it's going in this zone. However, when we select, I'm going to leave this zero, when we select floret in negative, we'll never go here. Always here. That's the difference. Look. It doesn't matter if I do it positive or negative. That's the main difference. So, for me, it's better this one because you don't have to worry if you make it positive or negative. It will always try to reach the value that you give. So, minus 3. However, if you use this one, you have to think to do it negative to go there. So, that's the main difference, okay, between this one and this one. But get the idea that basically, module law, it allows you to have a threshold and you can repeat the process, the loop in this number. Okay, now let's see another example. I delete everything except modulo because later we're going to use. And now I'm going to use a grid. So let's connect it, make it bigger, and add, for example, 100 vertices. So what I want now is to convert these vertices and add instance on points. Okay, perfect. I have 100 UV spheres. Now, if we want to make a selection, we need to work with selection, right? By the way, if you add index here, one is going to disappear. This one. Why? Do you know why? You should know it. If not, I'm going to explain you. Because selection always is a Boolean. And what does it mean that? That always select what is higher than zero. And what is zero is not being selected. This is really important for what I'm going to explain you right now. So this one is not going selected because it's the number zero. And if you want to check it, what we can do is to use the viewer node. Remember, you need to enable not wrangle in add-ons. And now select this, Control shift left click. And let's use index. Actually, you can connect this here to see index. And remember to go here, enable this. And you have only this in Blender 4.1. And I'm going to disable this to see better the numbers. And I select wireframe to see it better. So now we are seeing the number of the index of every vertex, every instance. And you can see this one is zero. So that's the reason why when we connect this here, this one is disappearing. Because this selects everything that is higher than zero. But if it's zero, it's not being selected. Perfect. Now, by the way, if you want to make a selection of other instance, what you can do is to use equal. So use equal. And now connect this here. So now it's selecting zero, and you can change to say I want the number one, the number two, three, etc. Or what you can do is say, for example, I want all the numbers that are less than eight. So all this. Or you can do the opposite. You can do, for example, everything that is greater, higher than eleven, or this and equal. So it selects the same number. So now you know how this works. Or everything except this one. So this is how it works. Perfect. Now, how we can use modulo here? Let's see what happens if we add this here. First, I'm going to select fraction to see if something happens, okay? Let's check it. Okay. Everything disappeared. Why? Let's check it. Let's select viewer node and let's use this one. Now you can see something. 
What is happening here? Now all the index is zero. That's why it's disappearing. Why all the index at zero? Because remember, this every one value repeats the number. So this one is the first number, and every one value it starts again. So basically, it's saying every one number be zero, the index. So zero, zero, zero. So that means that if everything is zero, nothing is selected because we say that this only select what is higher than zero. Okay. Now, what if we select modulo? If this is 0 0.5, it's the same. Let's check it. But if we select 1, let's see. It's the same because 1 is the same like fraction. Okay? Cool. However, now if we select, for example, look what is happening. If we change this, something happens. But let's work with full numbers. For example, 2. Hmm. What's going on here? This is really interesting, trust me. What we are doing right now is selecting one yes, one no. Why? Because we define it the value two. So let's check it with this viewer node. Basically, now we have zero one. Because as we define it the threshold in number two, that means that every two values restart. So this is the zero, this one value, one step, and the second step. You have to restart, right? So it will be zero. So that's why we have this selection, as you can see. But what we can do instead of doing this one, say every three. So if we select three now, this change. So every one, two, three, it restarts. So this one is going to disappear. This one, this one, this one, etc. Let's check it. So now you understand what's happening here. So more you increase this, you have different patterns. Every four, every five, every six, seven, eight, etc. As you can see, we can use modulo to create different patterns of selections. If you want to see a fast example, I'm going to select two. So now we are selecting all these. And I'm going to add set material. Let's select the material view and let's add a color. For example, I want blue. And now I want to make the others, the ones that we are not selecting, in another color. So what I should do is to, I'm going to let this, is to make a copy of this to go faster. Let's add. Join geometry. Let's connect it. But here we need to add math and change the value. So, for example, minus one. And now, as we are subtracting minus one value, actually we are adding, but you can use subtract and select one value, it's the same. Now we have the selection of these ones. So, if I cut this wire, you can see it. And I can change this color and say these ones. Let's create a new material. I'm going to select this color. So we have this pattern thanks to modulo. Okay, let's see another useful example. I'm not going to delete this because I want to keep this in this project. So if you get this project in my Patreon, you can check this and see how it works. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this transform. And I'm going to push it, for example, in, in this axis. So I'm going to leave it there. So later, if you want to see it, you have it there. And now let's focus in a new example. So I'm going to use a curve line. Imagine you are trying to do like a rail or something. Let's add join geometry. So we don't lose the other thing. And now we have a line here. And let's add, for example, resample. Because you want to add objects, right? And let's add instance on points. And let's add cubes. Okay. So let's 
make this zero and for example minus three and three let's select for example six cubes and let's try to make them look different something like maybe something like this okay so imagine you are trying to make what do you call this poles i don't remember and you want one like that so in this axis but you want this one go to you so what i mean is like this one like that and this one like that and this one like that etc right so how we can do that actually i'm going to add more so we can see better this example so what i should do ignore this is to rotate the instance right because now this instance so let's add rotate instance and i won't remember to rotate for example 90 degrees but i don't want all of them <clears throat> what i can do oh yes we have modulo and we have index that's interesting so i remember i watched this tutorial about shan 3d so i need to add index now the first one is not being selected however if i add modulo so math not here shan math node and i select modulo and i say every two now i have this because what i'm saying is that every two restart so every two don't make the selection remember it's like before we are not applying this rotation what is zero so this is zero one zero one zero one so this rotation only works in one so as you can see now it's really easy if you want to start building things and instead of complicating your life just add modulo and define the pattern that you want to achieve if you want every three every three it's okay don't worry i'm not going to judge you but with this what you can do it's easy patterns when you want to build things so that's all i hope you learned something new i'm going to leave you these two projects on my patreon and if you want to learn more give a like subscribe and remember you can download this project and many more on my patreon and see you in the next video